focus right now. New developments tonight after 90 minutes of deliberations. A jury found Mitchell Young guilty of first degree murder in the attack on the Cipriano family. Tonight, we have live team coverage of that verdict. 7 Action News reporter Jim Kurtzner spoke with the victim's family, but we begin with reporter Tara Edwards, who was inside the courtroom when that verdict was read. Mitchell Young's face shows the disappointment and defeat as the jury found the 21-year-old guilty of all charges, including first-degree murder and felony murder. It took jurors, six of them men, six others women, about 90 minutes to come to a unanimous decision. He took it uh, stoically, I would say, you know, I mean, felt very seriously. You could say that he was pleased, but he, he stood up straight and, and he walked out uh, uh, maintaining his dignity. The prosecution argued Mitchell Young plotted with his friend Tucker Cipriano to commit murder and steal money from the Cipriano home. In about a week of testimony, gruesome pictures of all three victims were shown to convey just how brutal these baseball bat beatings were, as well as very disturbing crime scene photos. Early in the trial last week, testimony from Tucker's alleged best friend, Ian Zinderman, also proved damaging. He said Tucker and Young planned out killing the Cipriano family. There was also testimony of Young confessing his version to police. And days ago, an expert testified blood spatter on Young's pants indicate he was within inches of Bob Cipriano, even standing over him during the attack. But even after today's decision, there's a chance of appeal. There's the Court of Appeals. He has an absolute right to an appeal, and I know that he's going to pursue that. And uh, I think, you know, that is about all that can be said. McCarthy says Young has a lot of love and support from family members, but many of them could not bear being in court and surrounded by media. But his grandmother was there wiping away tears. Before the verdict, he turned back to her and mouthed, I love you. She had no comment as she was leaving court. And Young's grandmother is from Florida. We're told that she flew in for her grandson's trial. Young will be sentenced on July 24th. He faces life in prison. At the Oakland County Courthouse, Tara Edwards, 7 Action News. Okay.